Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Hopefully your day has been awesome. Welcome to Learn to Write Sci-Fi. I am Rick Graham, author of the Revelations Universe. My whole goal here with this video series is to help you become a self-published author. And this whole series is focusing on an easy to do sci-fi well, project <laughs> for you to do. And that is a short story that you are going to then, once you write it, get it published on Amazon. Now, some people may be like, eh, whatever, that's not a big deal. Look, it is, it's a sense of accomplishment, if nothing else, that you can say, I am a published author. It's awesome, okay? All right, so today we are gonna be talking about negative, one of the negative thoughts or voices that could be in your head preventing you from becoming a writer, and that is grammar and spelling. A lot of people, if you start to ask them whether or not they've been to college, will say, I'm not very good at writing, I'm not a very good speller, my grammar is just garbage. All right, when you're using programs like Microsoft Word, uh, a bunch of other programs that are out there to write in, they have spell check. They even have like a grammar check. So unless your spelling is like just phonetic, where it's just the sounds, you probably aren't that bad of a speller. And even if you are, worst case scenario, you could get an editor. That could be somebody you know. Once you've written the story, be like, look, I wrote the story. Help me just with the spelling errors. Just check it for me. Just check some of the grammar. Make sure it just sounds right. One really easy thing to do for you to check grammar is once you write something, say a page, I would go all the way and write the whole story before I'd start worrying about editing. Um, a lot of writers will tell you um, when you start writing, I heard this the other day, when you start writing, it's from the creative side of your brain. When you start editing, it's the logical side of your brain. It's very difficult to go back and forth between the halves of your brain trying to switch tasks. It's not very efficient and you're probably going to sacrifice creativity over anything else. Especially the more and more you're sitting there with the logic side going, it's going to start pointing out more and more mistakes. So when you first start writing, just write. Don't worry about page count. Don't worry about, does everything work together? Don't worry about, is the ending strong enough? Don't worry about, is my grammar or my spelling or whatever? Just write. Write it first. You have plenty of time to edit. Edit's not even, editing's not even that hard. Um, one trick that I found that helps me immensely, because I'm... I'll be upfront, I'm not a bad writer, right? I, writing is, is a gift of mine. Um, I wouldn't dare say I'm the best, but I mean, I can <laughs> bang out some words pretty easy. Not necessarily counting grammar because my rules for writing are a little bit more subjective. <laughs> I'm more about the feeling of things rather than the vocabulary being robust and, and such, but... Um, one really awesome trick that I found that when you go to edit, read your work out loud. Go someplace where you're okay reading out loud without anybody giving you weird looks, but read your stuff out loud. What that will force you to do, and you're not going to like it at first, by reading it out loud, you are forcing yourself in a way to not only read it, but to say it. And when you say it, you're gonna start noticing, okay, that sentence might read well, but it doesn't sound right when I say it. And then you can make a couple tweaks and it'll be a way stronger sentence. And then you do that you know, again and again and again, before you know it, you have a whole scene. And then you have you know, a whole page, and then you've got the whole story. It's really easy to do when you read a short story, let's say it's like 30 to 40 pages, I mean, really, it should only take you 40 minutes, maybe. That's if you're like, and if you go through and you're trying to read it really dramatically, yeah, you'll notice it'll take a little bit longer. But if you're just reading through it just like normal, you'll start noticing problems in the story. You'll start noticing problems in the sentence structure. Those things are easy to fix. Like once you really start knowing, and you can make notes, or you can start changing there. I would probably make some notes, maybe read like a whole page and then go back as opposed to reading the whole thing and trying to remember where all of it is. 
it's kind of difficult to do if you're reading 20, 30, 40, 50 pages at a time to remember, okay, yeah, back on page 19 at the top sentence, I need to change some things. That is a really simple trick. I have corrected a number of my own projects that I thought, I read it multiple times, I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. And then I tried the trick where I was gonna read it out loud and I was like, oh boy, that part right there, that doesn't work, I need to fix that. So that is a huge trick that I would definitely wanna pass on to you is, is definitely focusing on reading it out loud once it's completed. As far as spelling goes, I mean, just do the best you can. I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say this in a way that makes you feel like this project's not worth it, but understand this is your first project. A lot of authors, if you went to them and said, you know, how, you know, compare your, your first work to your newest work, they're gonna say, oh, <laughs> don't read my first work, or if you do, it's gonna have problems, or it wasn't my best, I was just learning. There's gonna be all sorts of reasons because it's your first time. If you sit there and you focus only on the perfection and you let those negative voices in your head or from people around you say, oh, you're not a good writer, uh, your grammar's terrible, uh, you know, all these things suck, you're gonna stop before you ever expand out of your comfort zone and start doing something that you're passionate about doing, you just don't really know how to start. So I would urge you again and again, you know, just push forward. Don't let these little things be a big deal. You can hire an editor, you can get a friend to read your stuff or a parent or you know a sibling or something. There's somebody out there who's willing to devote 30 minutes to read something that you wrote. It's not a big deal. And and like like you know, we'll get into the proofreading and stuff later with, you know, getting readers to help read your work before you publish, but I'm just talking about as far as editing goes, it's definitely possible to do that. All right? Don't let your bad spelling be the reason that you're not a writer. Don't let your fear of, you know, English rules with grammar be your fear and your reason to not write. I mean, who knows what kind of, you know, down the road, what kind of great work you could come up with that could, you know, change the industry or impact lives or make a difference and you never write it because you're afraid that your spelling isn't good enough. It's not a big deal. And especially, is one thing as we're closing, when you're dealing with digital works, like we're dealing with self-published digital stories, worst case scenario, somebody reads your story and says, and they're even like a jerk about it, you know, oh, on page 26, there's a whole bunch of typos. And you go back and you read page 26, you're like, son of a gun. I don't know how this got past everybody, but yeah, there's typos here. You can fix it, republish it without it being down. So it's not like you have to relist the book. You can update the publishing on Amazon, it'll update, and then all the next readers are gonna get the modified version, the improved version. Nobody will know, except for one person. It's not a big deal. You need to get past that fear and get past that doubt and just focus on writing and then improving your skill as you go on. Now again, this isn't, this isn't you know, uh, permission to write garbage or you know, not thought out content but this is permission for you to experiment and try and break out of your comfort zone because if this is really what you wanna do, you're gonna to have to put yourself out there and you might make some mistakes. Oh well, everything in life has, you know, anything worth having takes risk. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. This community is growing both here with Facebook and with YouTube. We're gonna be launching our website soon. We're gonna be launching an email list soon. There's gonna be a lot of awesome stuff that's coming. Uh, we're still in the 30-day challenge. I believe this is day 13. <laughs> yeah, we're moving forward, and I'm very excited about this. Uh, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook, it is Learn to Write Sci-Fi. And if you would like to follow us on YouTube, it is White Light Media. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys all again tomorrow. Please leave your comments and your questions down below if you have any. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching.